Welcome to our video on Astrology Compatibility Horoscope for Zodiac Signs of Virgo the Virgin and Cancer the Crab, along with Zodiac Angels for these specific signs being Hamaliel for Virgo and Muriel for the sign of Cancer. Now first our disclaimer, watching this video or, or reading the document attached to it is an act of spiritual willpower and any such action is considered magic. High magic should be used with all mindfulness since powerful forces of manifestation are unleashed. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. I'm a Rosicrucian seer, Biblical astrologer, Christian psychic, Gnostic mystic, and this is a Readings by Rosemary angelic transmission. Virgo the Virgin is an Earth sign. The Virgin is mutable Earth and is the nighttime habitation of Mercury, the planet Mercury, which is the messenger of the gods. Now, the planet of Mercury is the planet of intelligence, logic, communication and transport. Mercury rules over Virgo and that is during the nighttime. And in the day, Mercury rules over Gemini. The planetary archangel of Mercury is the archangel Raphael. So we have Raphael and zodiac angel Hamaliel along with Uriel, who is the elemental archangel and is also called the archangel of the watchtower of Earth because Uriel is the is the archangel that rules over all of the earth signs. Okay, so uh, again, the elemental guardian angel for Virgo is Uriel, because that's the, the angel that rules over all of the earth signs, and Virgo is mutable earth. So this is, again, also called the angel, the archangel or angel of the watchtower of earth, and therefore Virgo the virgin of that sign. Now, the tarot card for Virgo, the sign of Virgo the virgin, is the Hermit card. So the Hermit card, okay, the Hermit card, that's for, again, the sign of Virgo the Virgin. Now moving on to the sign of Cancer the Crab. Cancer the Crab is a water sign, whereas Virgo is an earth sign. Now the Crab is cardinal water where Virgo is mutable earth. So the crab is, again, cardinal water. And it's both the daytime and the nighttime dwelling of the moon or Luna, the planet of change and reflected light. The, uh, the moon and the sun were considered uh, planets by the ancients. So therefore, because of this, the moon rules over the sign of Cancer, both in the day and in the night. Now the planetary archangel of the moon or Luna is the archangel Gabriel and, and Muriel along with Gabriel who is also the elemental archangel of water. So Gabriel is the angel that rules over the, the ancient planet of the moon and Muriel is a zodiac angel for specifically the sign of cancer. Now so remember that, that Gabriel is also the elemental archangel the archangel who, of the watchtowers uh, that watch over all of the water signs, okay? So now, and therefore of cancer, of cancer the crab, which is cardinal water or fire of water. We'll get into that a little bit more in, in a second here. Now, in, in a little bit. Now, the tarot card for the sign of cancer the crab is the chariot card. And the chariot card, you see here, chariot card. The chariot card has a has a someone who's who's driving the chariot, and then has the right and left pillars, the the, the white and black phoenixes or sphinxes that are sphinxes that are pulling this chariot. So this is all about sort of how we deal with our with the the side that is uh, light and dark and severity and mercy and the twin pillars, you know, day night, male female, dark light, all of these things. You need both. And people say that, you know, negative is all, all bad and positive is all good, but that's not true because there's many times when negative is a good thing, okay? So, you know, like when you're, you're getting some kind of a, a test in a medical exam, for example, a negative means normal. So, so as, as you understand now, if there was only, only all the time just, just the sun, it, we would all be scorched to death. And if there was only 
the moon, we would all freeze to death. So you need both. You can't exist according to the Zohar and according to Christian Kabbalah. You cannot exist only in the, the pillar of light or the pillar of, of, of darkness. You can only exist physically in the nexus between the two. Okay, so that's why you have to understand that knowing how to balance these forces within you is extremely important. Okay, so now as you see, we have a lot of elemental archangels. We have planetary archangels and zodiac angels that all need to get along first within each sign themselves and then with other astrological signs. So the, all the angels that, that make up Virgo and all the angels that make up the sign of Cancer have to get along with each other in their specific sign and then those two have to get along with each other as well. So that's a lot of angelic beings having to get along with each other. Now the elemental archangels, we're going to go over them first and then we'll go over the planetary and the zodiac angels, okay? Now the elemental archangels would be earth and water. We'd have the elemental archangel of earth as, as we mentioned being Uriel for Virgo and we would have the elemental archangel of water who, who would be Gabriel for the sign of cancer the crab. Now earth is a feminine element and water is, is also a feminine element. Okay, so they're both feminine elements, earth and water. Now earth is nourished by water in small to moderate amounts and moved in large amounts. Now water is captured by minute to modest amounts of earth and buried by large amounts of earth. Elemental Archangel Uriel, as, as we mentioned, who's an um, Elemental Archangel of Earth. That's again, Elemental Archangel Uriel rules over all of the Earth signs, of which Virgo the Virgin is, remember, mutable Earth, being water of Earth. Okay? Now, Elemental Archangel Gabriel rules over all of the water signs, of which Cancer the Crab is cardinal water, being fire of water. Therefore, Elemental Archangel Uriel and Elemental Archangel Gabriel have a, uh, a reciprocally nurturing, equally capturing and mutually constructive compatibility. With that said, if too large a quantity of either one of these elements takes precedence over the other, Elemental Archangel with a larger amount of volume restricts the productivity of the other one and of himself as well. Now, Planetary Archangels we're going to go over next. Now, Planetary Archangel Raphael associates with the planet Mercury and planetary archangel Gabriel corresponds with the planet of the moon or Luna. Ancient astrologers and astronomers considered the moon and the sun again as planets which means wanderer. Now planetary archangel Raphael is the divine physician of God. That's where you get the caduceus of Hermes from. That, that's the medical insignia. That's from, from the divine physician of God or the archangel Raphael and from the planet Mercury. Now the planet Mercury is known as the messenger of the gods. Planet of logic, information, swiftness, writing, scribes, manipulation, transportation, and communication. Now the magician card in the tarot deck, see the magician here? Okay. The magician. The magician card in the tarot deck is the, is the card that is associated with the planet Mercury and is represented by the Hebrew letter Beth or Bet, meaning house, symbolizing Bethlehem in the New Testament, the birthplace of Jesus of Nazareth. These qualities of Mercury correspond with the number eight in Christian Kabbalah and Rosicrucianism, found in the eighth sephir of Hod, and Mercury is identified with the divine adragine of reason and common sense. Now Mercury is also the, the metal found in the sephira of Hod on the tree of life. Orange inhabits the sephira, the color orange inhabits the sephira of Hod when referring to the queen scale in Kabbalah. And thus it is the mercurial color uh, uh, on the Kabbalistic tree in the world of Bria. Now mercurial gods found in Hod associated with the planet Mercury or Thoth of Atlantis and Egypt, Hermes Trismegistus of Greece, Mercury of Rome and the Archangel Raphael for modern Christendom and St. Paul in Catholicism and another various Orthodox Christian churches. So this is the same being with slightly different principles due to uh, or attributes when you have a different name change or, or a different culture, but it's the same being, that mercurial being. 
In the book of Acts, in, in the New Testament, in Acts chapter 14, verse 12, in the New Heart English Bible, they called Barnabas Jupiter and Paul Mercury because he was chief speaker. Planetary Archangel Gabriel is known by the phrase, quote, God is my strength, unquote. Here are two verses of biblical scripture which refer to the Archangel Gabriel. In Daniel, the book of Daniel in the Old Testament, chapter 8, verses 15 to 16 in the New Heart English Bible, it came about when I, Daniel, had seen the vision that I sought to understand it. And look, there stood before me someone who appeared to be a man. I heard a man's voice between the banks of the Ulai and called out and said, quote, Gabriel, make this man understand the vision, unquote. Now in, in Luke, in the Gospel of Luke in the New Testament, in chapter 1, verses 26 to 27, in the New Heart English Bible, now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Planetary Archangel Gabriel is also associated, remember, with the moon. The planet Luna or the moon is the planet of ambience and changeability, psychic vibes, feelings, primal instincts, and monthly cycles for women. And men have their cycles, they're just not as attuned to the, to the moon as women are. There, now, the attributes of the moon correspond with the womanly hormone of estrogen. Now, the high priestess card uh, is, is the card, the tarot card, okay? You have the high priestess card here. Who, she sits between those twin pillars of dark and light of Yakim and Boaz. You have, uh, Boaz is the dark pillar and Yakim, Yakim is, is the, the, uh, the light pillar. And the high priestess in tarot deck is assigned to the ancient planet of the moon, okay? Ancient planet of the moon, with the Hebrew letter Gimel, meaning camel, being allotted to the realm of sublime perceptions. Now, such talents of clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairsentience, which is being able to feel something, are gifted to this mysterious woman who sits between the twin pillars of Yaakon and Boaz, found in King Solomon's temple, the moon card, in the tarot deck, now that's, that's, that's different, however. So the moon card in the tarot deck, that's, that's the moon card. See? The moon card. Can you all see? Okay, the moon card itself is not really associated with the planet of the moon in the tarot deck. The moon card is allocated to the zodiac sign of Pisces the fish, not Cancer the crab, which is the topic of this discussion. So we're talking about Cancer the crab, and so that's different. So as you can see, the proclivities of the moon and the lunar functions thereof are much more complex and unpredictable than those of the sun. We have already discussed that the tarot card, which represents the sign of Cancer the crab, is the chariot. And we talked about that already. So that's for Cancer the crab. Now keep in mind that this charioteer holds the reins and guides the twin sphinxes before him who pull the chariot. Let's reflect on Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, in the Old Testament, one of the prophets. In chapter 66, verse 23, in the Webster Bible translation, and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Now, zodiac angels we're going to get into next regarding the sign of, the, of Virgo and the sign of Cancer the Crab. So we have zodiac angels that are specific for the zodiac signs. Now, Virgo's zodiac angel is Hamaliel, and Cancer's zodiac angel is Muriel, and they find each other interesting, refreshing, and friendly. And that's, that's primarily in the beginning of their interactions, in the beginning of their, their relationship with each other. Now, the Virgin welcomes the idealistic and excitement-oriented nature of the crab, while Cancer the crab enjoys Virgo's precision and analytical nature applied to daily routines bringing an accommodating style, uh, coupled with a lot of stability. Now, Virgo's Hamaliel desires to be of service to others, is investigative, is also responsible and exacting. Familiar and easygoing atmospheres are a must with the Virgin, as are reliable habits, healthy practices, and altruistic types of vocations. A down-to-earth, romantic life 
that fits easily into the workaday world is an agreeable component when encountering and when courting a Virgo, which helps to win her or his heart. Cancer's Muriel might seem fickle until winning Virgo's trust. The crab is soft and sensitive on the inside while hard as nails on the, on the outer shell. Now, this combination often causes misunderstandings. And because of these, these misunderstandings that can happen when, when, when one doesn't, doesn't really comprehend the true nature of, of, of the crab, remember that it, it's remember, hard as nails on the outside. Okay, but what, remember, you have to get the trust of the crab. Now, the, the misunderstandings have to be understood when dealing with a family member or a friend who's, who's, a, who's a sign of cancer the crab. Now, cancer the crab's love life is kept exciting with opportunities for many relationships. That is, until someone steady, dependable, and able to accept the crab's nurturing ways comes along and comes into the picture. Now, in a relationship between the virgin and the crab, since Virgo is nurturing as well, they complement each other when cultivating their relationship. Each one has her, her or, or his own unique style of developing and tending to a relationship. Cancer, and therefore Muriel, is quicker to get into new relationships and is more likely to have a difficult time making up their minds uh, than, than Hamaliel. Of Virgo. So Muriel has a harder time. Muriel of Cancer the Crab has a harder time than Hamaliel of Virgo regarding making up their minds, especially in regards to their love lives because Virgo is immutable. Earth sign and Cancer is a cardinal water sign. So remember that. Now, just imagine a relationship between an agricultural earth goddess and an aquatic crustacean like a crab. You probably think that all crabs are herbivores, don't you? Cute little creatures that wouldn't hurt a fly. You might be surprised to find out that there are also some species of crabs that are carnivorous and omnivorous. Although some humans are carnivorous, the virgin is known for being a goddess of sowing and reaping wheat. She tends to the cycles of planting and harvesting of this and other important grains and, and other cereals as well. Now, agricultural goddesses don't usually hunt for aquatic crustaceans along the seashore, while crabs will sometimes kill and eat kittens hens, and other crustaceans. If not for the size differential, crabs could have the upper hand over human vegetarians or vegans because crabs aren't afraid to eat meat or anything else nourishing, while human herb herbivores disdain eating meat, poultry, fish, or aquatic crustaceans. Nevertheless, humans do swim and therefore might seem friendly to crabs. Aquatic crustaceans being creatures that live in the wet sand and in the ocean, especially crabs, have a have, they have very strong claws and, and pinchers that they use to break open the shells of other crustaceans or to kill an immature cat or even a chicken. These activities might startle Virgo, virgin goddess of wheat fields. Virgin goddesses don't have to worry as long as science fiction thrillers of giant crabs created by radiation pollution of Earth's oceans don't become science fact. Information found in this document is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have considered to memory. Thank you for joining us and please join us again.